This is Deborah Potter at News Lab, and I'm going to show you how to create a very attractive Google map using a tool called Batch Geo. Batch Geo, an online tool at batchgeo.com. When you go to the site, you'll see they've already provided some data for you to play with. I'm going to take a look at what their maps actually look like by saying Map Now using the data they've given me. And you get a fairly obvious looking Google map with little push pins. This happens to be Apple stores in the state of New York. And when you click on the push pin, there's a phone number that they put in, the address, and a link. So if we go to the link, we can see, oh, this is this Apple retail store. So that's what this particular uh, tool allows you to do very quickly. What we'll do is create our own map using some data that I've put into an Excel spreadsheet already. And you'll notice that each column needs its own title, the address, city, state, zip code, the name of what you want to mark, the URL if you're including one, and the URL of an image if you're including one, which I am. This happens to be four monuments in Washington, D.C. And I've created now this little bit of data that I'm going to copy and paste right in there. Again, the first thing you need to do when you put in your data is make sure that BatchGeo likes it, so you validate it. It looks like everything's okay except for the region, which I'm going to now change to United States. International is the default. So United States. I don't have a particular grouping that I want to use, but I could if I had lots of different kinds of items I wanted to put on this map, but for now it's looking okay. So let's map it and see what we get. And there they are, the four uh, locations that I put into my data set. I might want, for example, to move the White House a little bit over to about there, but that's fine. And then if I click on it, you'll see there's the image, there's the location, and there's a link to the White House page, which will open up and allow me to travel through there. Okay. When I go back and map it, I have the option to now save this map by putting in a title, which is required, DC Monuments, and an email address, which again is required. And I'm going to say unlisted for this map because I want to be the only one who knows where it is. I'm going to save it. Now, when I go to my email, I will get the URL for this map and I will get an embed code so I can put this map in any page I want to. Quick and easy. And did I mention that it's free? It's free.